these will, these will keep you safe, yeah. you know, when you need them. Sarah Wilson is preparing for Cook to Cook, a three-week, three-part expedition. Climb Mount Cook, cycle from Mount Cook Village to Picton, on the top of the South Island, and then kayak across Cook Strait. Sarah will climb with Bridget Jans, cycle to Picton with Bridget and Bronwyn Ward, then paddle across the Cook Strait with her nephew, Luke Wilson. Every leg of this adventurous triathlon will be challenging. But kayaking across the Cook Strait, oh, I'm really terrified. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a bit of a mountain girl, not a water baby. <laughs> it's a big moment. <laughs> Woohoo, here we go. Cook to Cook is one of seven Hillary expeditions this year that are all world firsts. It's possible because of funding from the Hillary Expedition Fund. It's with Sport New Zealand. And it's really great to be a grantee from them. We just found out just like today. Yee! <laughs> and it's totally awesome. And it's like the totally the vision of Hillary, I think, himself. Five of the seven Hillary expeditions are taking place overseas, but Sarah wants to show off her backyard before her neighbourhood. I hope he would be proud of us, actually, in taking on this Kiwi adventure, which, you know, Kiwis can get out there and do. They can get out and make their own adventures, their own world firsts, right here. Sarah embodies Sir Hilary's spirit. Quiet, modest, most of the time. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, willing to put in the hard work, but knows when to say stop, um, but definitely invokes the spirit of adventure and just true Kiwi grit and determination. It's this Kiwi grit that has Sarah attempting Cook to Cook a second time. Before the beginning of the journey, and let's have a look. In 2011, during the descent of Mount Cook, she was buried by an avalanche. Sarah's climbing partner, Kat Shand, dug her out with her bare hands. It was, uh, I was I'm, I'm very lucky to be alive. I'm, I owe my life to her. She uh, saved my life. Sir Hillary once said, I have been seriously afraid at times, but have used my fear as a stimulating factor rather than allowing it to paralyze me. Are you scared this time? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think whew, it really takes something to go back and face that kind of fear. And I've had some sleepless nights, so I'll, I'll be real honest. You know, I'm human. I'm not sort of some superhuman, but facing your fears is also way cool, you know? and going back and doing it feels the right thing to do. Cook to Cook to Parts, January 7th, 2013.